How we doing YouTube? Stevie here. It's been a few days. They uh let me adjust this just a little bit, maybe. Uh, oh, I'm not sure what channel this is on. I think it's gonna come on Steve Lyle Logistics. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of that title and just go to Backwater News. Um, I've got uh I don't know heck it's been I don't know how long it's been since I did a video. Probably been three weeks, maybe. Uh, everything's pretty much the same in the trucking world. We uh, just been chugging along, running our Evansvilles, and uh, had a four-day week last week because of Memorial Day. This is Sunday the third or fourth, something like that, and. Uh, This is also the first video that we did out in the yard this year, I think. So that's kind of cool. Um, I did some videos from the truck, but uh, I was having trouble with the sound. Right now I'm having trouble with flies biting, trying to bite my legs. I got shorts on today, uh, Sunday night. I started running my route a little bit different. Usually I would be gone right now at Sunday afternoon. I'd be out on the road. Uh, halfway down to Evansville, but uh, because of the construction, I uh, I've been running. Uh, I come up normally. I would come up 41, 62, and 41. That's the lane I take to Evansville from Markham, and usually I would cut across to Kankakee or at Kentland. I would turn at Kentland and go back to the west over to, uh, I forget what the highway is that goes up to 57, uh, cuts over there to 57 at Kankakee, and then run Kankakee up. And t to get down to Kentland running that way takes about an hour and 50 minutes. Well, on 57 they started doing a bunch of construction. And, uh, let me move that a little bit. And, uh, People in Illinois don't like to merge, so I didn't, uh, it got to where I couldn't make a complete loop. So I thought, ooh, I swing, I'm sitting on a swing, it just made a weird noise. Um, yeah, it uh, didn't work so good. Uh, I, I couldn't make a complete loop, but I gotta figure out something different, that construction's killing me. There's construction in three different spots, that's 40 miles I run on 57, and there was construction on uh, uh, three different spots. It's just terrible. And uh, so I said, I wonder if I ran farther up 41. And then I kind of just, just for giggles one time, I took, uh, I, said, I wonder if I run how far it is if I cut all the way over to 65. I'm on 41. I said, man, that seems like such a long way. And, uh, but, uh, a buddy of mine, Paul, Paul, if you're watching this, you told me this, or you asked me this one time. You said, uh, do you go over to 65? And I said, no, it's too far out of the way. I think. I, said, I, think, I think it's too far out of the way. And, uh, but I didn't really figure that right, because I was thinking of it as double miles from Markham all the way to 65. But it's actually only double miles from 41 to 65, because I already have to drive from Markham to 41. Anyway, long story short, now there's construction on 94 too, but that doesn't, uh, well, there's more to the story, but anyway, um, so I ran that way one time just to see how long it would take. Well, son of a gun, if it ain't 10 minutes faster. Sometimes, uh, if the construction isn't bad on 94, almost 20 minutes faster. I can get from Markham to Kentland in about an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, 35, hour 35, hour 30. Um, and changing that route, not only did it make it a little bit faster, uh, that loop, but now I can park my truck at um, at Lowell, at the truck stops there at Lowell, and I can come home. Actually, I could come home almost every day. But uh, last week, the first time I did it was last week. I ran four days last week. Um, Three of those, so we was off Monday for, for Memorial Day. 
um, I didn't leave Monday night. I left Tuesday morning. So I was home, well, what would have been a Sunday. I was home then, that night. I was home Tuesday night. I didn't, I, I didn't come home Wednesday night. I could have come home Wednesday night. Um, but, because uh, I was at Lowell, I stopped at Lowell. But I needed to leave pretty, right at my 10 hour break. And um, I took care of everything at home before I left, just in case I got hung up somewhere. Because of, the reason that, that was, because on Thursday, I didn't get my normal reload. I had to go down to Henderson, Kentucky. And if I go to Henderson, Kentucky, I can't make the whole loop. So I wasn't going to get all the way back to Lowell anyway. So I knew I was going to end up stopping at Markham on on Thursday night, which I did. And uh, so I wasn't home those two nights. Um, but this week is a, I'm going to have five of them this week, five turns. One of them is not my normal bottle load that I like to bring back. It's a different load, but it's also a plastic load, and it's right in there. Um, by where, uh, not far from where my bottle load is at, I think. I think I've been to this place before. I gotta double check on my book, but I'm pretty sure I've been to this place before. And uh, uh, it's actually closer to 41 than uh, the bottles are. Um, I'm trying to remember how long it took them to load me. It, it was last year when I was there, so I, I can't remember for sure, but I'm almost positive I've been there before. Anyway, long story long. Um, so that's good. I'm getting able to come home some during the week. And um, and I got a lot of footage. I've been filming quite a bit uh, when we put in our food plots and things like that. And uh, just some other weird old stuff. Uh, uh, rain gauge, putting in a rain gauge. I cracked that. That's kind of interesting how I managed to do that. And um, what else have I got some footage of? Um, I got some camping stuff coming up uh, that I will be getting footage of. But the problem is, is I need to, I need to figure out how to download that video from my phone to my laptop. Then I can go to YouTube Studio on my laptop or, or the, the program I have to do uh, edited videos and, and try to start editing some of these um, so, anyway, so I have some work to do on that. I got, I got anyway, I got a lot of footage. Um, when I try to email, I tried to email it to myself, but it doesn't, because the files are so long, it doesn't want to work. These stupid flies are buying my ankles like crazy. So we're about done anyway. How many minutes we got here? We're up at eight minutes. Yeah, we're about done anyway. So, um... I just wanted to do a little check-in video. I'm sitting out here with the tiki lamps going on. You probably see the smoke behind me. That's what it is, is the tiki lamps. Um, it's not working very good on those dang flies, I'll tell you that much for sure. Uh, but I need to get back into my routine. Um, I might be switching all these videos back to, um, well, I would be switching them all back to Backwater News um, as soon as I can figure out how to do it. Um, I should have probably just kept my other one up, but I got mad and purged everything, which I do from time to time. I got off Facebook, I got off all that stuff, and uh, um, I am still on Twitter and stuff, but I don't, I just, I don't put anything on Twitter, I just, there's some people I like to watch what they write on Twitter, um, so I've been doing some of that, watching that, but um, Kat Temp from Fox News and Dana Perino from Fox News, um, although Dana hasn't had anything on in a couple weeks, I don't know if she's on vacation or... Um, I hope nothing bad happened because she hasn't been on the five and I don't know if she's been on uh, uh, her daytime show with Bill Hammer. I haven't heard her on there, uh, but she just may have took a, uh, a long holiday. Uh, she's been, uh, uh, she does a lot of work. She's been doing a lot of work there for quite some time. Or, or you know, I don't remember the last time she had a really long break, so uh, she may have been off just taking a long break and um, I like to watch um, Dave Rubin and uh, him and his partner take uh, a month off I want to say it's August I'm pretty sure it's August um, but they take a month off go completely off grid completely and uh, 